Hello, my name's Quentin Brown from advancedwordpress.com where we show people how to create automated Amazon associate sites. What we're going to show you today will apply to any site. What we're going to do is customize the 2010 theme that comes bundled with WordPress. And so this is what a typical install of 2010 looks like. The reason 2010 is a great theme is one, it's the default of WordPress. So it will pretty well work with any customization plugins, etc. The other great thing is as WordPress upgrades over time, their theme's not going to break. So 2010 is actually a very powerful theme to use. And we're going to show you how you can customize it by still using the same core structure for 2010, but just change the looks. So a theme is actually just the surrounds for your content. So all this information in here is actually what you add. And these outside parts are all part of the theme. And we can change that very easily. And the way we customize our 2010 theme is to upload a program called WP Weaver. And you can get it at wpweaver.info. What we want is this 2010 Weaver version 1.4. And so it's just a matter of going to download here, then just click on the 2010 Weaver, and then just go and download it to your computer. What we do then is log in to the back end of our WordPress site and go to our appearance and install themes. Now, as you can see, I've just got the basic 2010 theme loaded and the only options I have is to change the background color and to change the header. Well, this program is going to allow me to change absolutely everything on this theme. So I just go to install themes. I choose upload. I go and choose the file where I downloaded it and here it is here. I just go install now. We just choose to activate. Now you'll notice we also have now a new link under our appearance. If we go and quickly do a refresh. So what we've done now is uploaded a new theme just like you would normally, but we have a whole lot of options now to go and do our changes. So what we do is we go to the 2010 Weaver instead of themes. We have the 2010 theme, which is called the parent theme. But now we're given all these other options and start to customize. And so we can choose our 2010 standard theme. We just go set to selected sub theme. Now let's put it back to the default of how we had it before. And so in our 2010, he has already supplied these sub themes or what we call child themes. And we can start with either using one of these or we can customize our 2010 directly. So let's just customize our 2010 to start with to show you how it works. So in this, we have a few sections. This area here controls all this area up the top here, the header. And on the right here, it tells us what each one of these customizations does. So let me just show you quickly. I want to bold the text. I want to move this navigation bar to the top and I want to get rid of some of this space in here. So I click on the bold text menu. Here's the space after header. Change the space between the header and the body. So I just want that to be 10. This is the site of the image. So this is the width of your graphic. So you can change that and move primary menu to the top. Then I simply go and save those settings. And I personally like to have a different tab open and then just do a refresh. Because we're using the Weaver, it also shows us the results down here in a preview. And so here we go. I've changed the top here. I've made them bold now and I've reduced this space. Say I wanted to put the sidebar on the left here. 
we go into this general appearance tab and here we have the ability to change the sidebars, create new sidebars, the width, etc. Once again, all this will tell us exactly what each one does. We could round the corners, could put a border around it, we could change the borders, etc. So let's just do those saves quickly. So as you can see now, I've put the sidebar on the left instead of the right. The third section is our theme text colors. This changes the whole color system of your site. So if I wanted to change this to be a blue instead of a red when it's hovered over, I just go down and look for it. So post entry title link, post entry title link hover. So this, I want a blue instead of the red. And so you'll notice it's changed here. So we can change all the colors. So as you can see now, when I hover over, it goes blue instead of red. So you can then customize all the text, everything in here, not so much the layout, but the look. So all these colors in the sidebar, you can change, etc. And the last section here is, is the theme background colors. So here, background for top level, background for main page. And so these change all the background colors. So it's just a matter of going through and playing with it and seeing how the different things affect your pages. So that's how we play with the original 2010 themes. However, we can pick one of these child themes and do exactly the same thing and just change the color schemes using our main options. Now to tell you the truth, this is a Amazon store and so I might even just change the theme altogether. And I'm going to go for the ivory drive this time. So we just go down here and pick the ivory and refresh. And now we have a nice theme. So once again, I can go through and customize this. This is still the 2010 theme using my widgets, etc. However, now I've totally customized it. Now to save those options, I'll go to save and restore. I can now call it kids. And I can now save that file. And I can download it to use on other sites if I want to. So I'll just use the download here. So now I want to put my picture. So in here, I need to go to my header and choose the file and it's 940 by 167. I'll just upload that header just here. Open, upload. And it's going to show me the area that it's going to crop it, crop and publish. And now when we do a refresh, here's our kids picture in there. And so that's looking uh, a lot nicer. Now here, he's got the site title turned off, so I, I don't want that turned off, I want it on. So as you can see, you can pick any theme that you like and then customize it so it becomes more how you want it. So we've now customized this whole theme. It's still the 2010 theme, so it still has all the great benefits of the 2010 theme. However, now it is all customized for how I want it. And you can keep going through and doing that. Another part is snippets. Snippets are small bits of code that allow you to add even more customization. So for example, it's a little bit hard to define where one post stops and where another one starts. So what I thought I'd do is try and put a little bit of design around this area. So to do that, all I need to do is copy these snippets. And you can actually find pages with all kinds of snippets to do a range of different functions. But instead of having to go through the whole CSS style sheet, etc., which can be very difficult, they've made it very easy by just going to the advanced options and in between the two style tags, just paste that snippet information. And in here, you can do the same with your footer area. You can use short codes, put in all sorts of different codes, and he explains how it all works there for you. Then just go Update Advanced, do a refresh, and you'll notice here now, we've put a little box around our top part and our bottom part. Now I don't want it around the top one. So I just got to look through here. It says meter name, description, style, entry, 
we can drag this box down. So this is the top part. I don't want that bit there. I do want this, but that color's a little bit strong. Now I use a program called Hex Color Finder. And so I can then go through and use my dropper button to find the texts, colors of different texts that I want. Or I can just enter it in. And so I'd rather use this F1, F1. And so now if I go here, this is our background. If I'm not too sure what the color is, again, I can use my color picker to find out what hex color that is. So it's the CO, CO one. So it's this one here. So all I'm going to do is paste the F1, F1, do a refresh. And so now I've taken out the one about up the top there, but I've left this one in down the bottom there and it's nice because it just divides up the post. So if you want to use the Hex Color Finder, it's great. Just go to twocows.com and type in Hex Color Finder 3 and you'll be able to download it. To download the ability to change your 2010 theme, just go to wpweaver.info and then you can customize your site. This is still a 2010 theme, just fully customized. My name's Quentin Brown. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll do some more on customization later on.